let's very quickly look at what node version manager is so uh, node version manager it's also called NVM is a way to very quickly switch between versions of node so usually when you are using a Linux uh, family of operating system like I'm using Arch Linux um, how do I install node I do uh, node.js pacman install pacman happiness node.js so I already have node installed and it's uh, version 16.2 uh, it's just reinstalling so that's how we install uh, software in Linux so if I run uh, node version I can see it's 16.2.0 but node comes in various versions so if we go to node.js.org we can see that uh, there's been many versions of node uh, which has come in the past so there's 14.17 uh, 16 12 lots of them now the thing is with every new version there are new features that are added to node so some features are removed and new features are added now the thing is if you write software uh, in version 10 for example and then in version 16 that feature which you used to write your software has become um, outdated deprecated changed something has happened to that feature and you can no longer use that feature now what do you do uh, if you are updating your node uh, version to 16 then suddenly your feature will stop working so you have two options either you rewrite your code such that it works with the latest version of node or you install a lower version of node so with the usual uh, software managers like pacman it's difficult to downgrade a version of a uh, software similarly there is a problem with the uh, operating systems like Debian where the latest version will itself be a small version so imagine I have uh, let me just open um, a Debian system in this um, you can see this is Debian 11 so if I check the node version it it's 12.21 so even if I update it apt upgrade and uh, even if I update it to the latest version, I, I'll not get a very new version in Debian. So imagine I had written a uh, software which uses a newer feature, something that's available only in version 16, and then I want to run it in Debian, then it will be a problem. So the, the solution to this is to directly download stuff from nodejs.org and use it so for example we can use linux binaries x64 i can download this this is 14.17 i don't want i want uh, 16 uh, so i go to current and uh, latest 16.20 i can download that and use uh, that's one way to do it but then downloading it is messy and also um, we might need to switch between the versions so one project might need might need version 16 another project might need version 12 so keeping switching between uh, versions is also a problem so now what I'm going to do is demonstrate how NVM helps so node version manager like the name suggests is a way to manage the versions of node so the first thing we need to do is we need to install node version manager uh, there are two ways to install node version manager uh, using an, a script and using git so i'm just going to use git so first thing we have to do is we have to clone it uh, i'm in my home directory and uh, i'm cloning it to .nvm it's cloned uh, now if i run uh, uh, okay i have to first switch to the version latest stable version and then if I run dot nvm dot sh it gets installed now I will have a command called nvm 
see I have a command called nvm which will let me do lots of uh, things how to uh, using node uh, using different versions of node and all that so that's it with installation there is a catch though if I open a new terminal so I'm opening a new terminal and I try nvm it will say command not found the reason is uh, remember we ran this command uh, we ran nvm.sh this needs to be run every time we open when we open a new terminal also it needs to run so how do we make it run um, that's what they say here so they're saying that these lines show bash rc profile or ZSH RC file to have it automatically so so essentially I use uh, bash so I can uh, put in bash rc and I can say uh, load it every time uh, my computer restarts so for the time being I won't uh, restart because my recording will stop then but uh, let's say I have correctly installed NVM so that means I will have NVM in my command line now the question is how do we use this now so this is an empty directory I want to create a new node project so I'm gonna say make uh, make a directory test project okay so I'm in that directory now this for this project I'm going to use the latest version of node imagine I'm on Debian and I have only version 12 in the uh, package uh, software repository so I need the latest version so instead of going and downloading it from uh, nodejs.org and saving it and then running it and all that I will do this I will say nvm install uh, latest okay uh, that's let's see nvm ls remote to see what versions are available there's so many versions available and uh, I can say nvm install 16 it will install any version 16 the latest in version 16 so it's downloading that now okay and now I'm gonna say nvm use 16 now if I run node version I can see it's the latest version so anyhow my computer has the latest version so just to show you that it is indeed the nvm version of node that is running I'll do which node and you can see it is the nvm version of node that is running and uh, I'll just open a new terminal to show you that uh, it's indeed working so um, now that I have uh, this thing working I'll create a project um, and I'm gonna say um, I need uh, to use a new feature so I'm gonna use optional chaining uh, w equal to let's narrate and uh, optionally map uh, into double and uh, what else do I need I'm gonna say console the log double one two three and uh, also double and defined so if I run this you can see uh, So it has to be option. You can see uh, it doubles and prints it, and if it's undefined, it doesn't fail, it just uh, shows undefined. So, the reason for uh, it not to fail is this question mark. So, if I didn't put this and if I didn't use this optional chaining syntax, uh, you can see it fails. Uh, there's an error there because uh, 
in the second case in the first case you're passing two plus one two three it's working in the second case you are passing undefined and then undefined doesn't have a map so that's where optional chaining comes in and this is a new feature in JavaScript. so if uh, we run this in a older version of node it will not work so imagine uh, my colleague runs this on debian uh, they might have an older version of node and then suddenly it will stop working so i can demonstrate that so if i switch to debian and try running that which node is this okay this one is also using the nvm node already so let's not use uh, debian um, uh, let's let's see how node version manager can help us run this in an older version so i need to test this in node 10 so i'm going to say nvm install 10 and then i'm going to say nvm use 10 so node version is 10 now and then i say node index.js and then it says okay this is not something that will work so that's the way we can test it in an older version and uh, if our software repository only has an old version we can also install a new version using node version manager so if i want to go back to 16 i can just see nvm use 16. now uh, in um, nvm there are some shortcuts to make life easier so we can automatically use a, a version with uh, something called a dot nvm rc file um, so there's a way to automatically call nvm use based on the folder and uh, things like that but essentially this is the basics of how nvm works so if i have a different project for example um, test project b and uh, i need a different version in that. i can just say nvm use 10 and then i implement it so this is now using uh, node 10 for working that's it.